Hello, you're watching Arise Entertainment 360, and I'm Shannon Lanier. And I'm Lolo Ganike, and we're here to bring you the newest and hottest stories in American entertainment, culture, and sports. Coming up next, Lindsay Lohan pokes fun at rehab during her late night appearance. Plus, she's the woman behind the docu-series or reality show, Love and Hip Hop. Media maven Mona Scott is here. And rap legend Big Daddy Kane also stops by to let us know what he's been up to. Mm, that sounds like a hot show. I know. I'm all looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. It's an all hip hop all the time show I today. I like that. I like that, right? Got to flavor it up for him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we talked about this story yesterday, okay. but the ladies of UConn did it again. Go Husky! That's right. Freshman Brianna Stewart led the team to a 93-60 to victory over the University of Louisville. Yeah, we talked about Louisville because the boys just won their championship. Um, the girls, unfortunately, didn't. Oh, but no. this is UConn's eighth national championship. Hmm, that's impressive. Very impressive. And that means that this victory also ties their coach Gino Arioma and Pat Summit, Pat Summit of Tennessee for the most championship wins in women's basketball history. Not bad at all. Not Pretty bad at all. Right? That's impressive. Well, congratulations, ladies. <laughs> well, while we were at home watching TV, mm -hmm. our young staff was out and about. You know, uh -oh. celebrity photographer Johnny Nunez, oh, he yeah. was on our show the other mm -hmm. day. Well, he called up our young girls and invited them out to join him at Bridget Kelly's <sighs> birthday bash. Oh. You know, Bridget Kelly is a new artist on Jay-Z's label. Oh, right, right. Okay. And so apparently they had quite the grand old time mm -hmm. while old folks were chilling at home watching TV. Oh, check this out. Okay, so that's Eka in the print shirt, and there she is with ne uh, Neo. Ooh, right. Neo's got on a hat, Amber, and Nina, who's our intern, and Amber is our our, our maven, our graphics and everything right. maven. Everything so, Yeah, that's, that's a nice. cute, they look cute, don't they? Yeah, look, they were starring it up on the town. They sure were. Okay, that's... Uh oh she's those, getting hugs. <laughs> those are Eka's new braids. All right. And that's, <laughs> Neo looks a little happy hugging uh, that Eka, uh, doesn't he? <laughs> and who is that? Oh, is that Rita Ora? Okay. Oh. And that's Amber again. Ooh, I love mm -hmm. her print pants. Cute, Amber. Right. I see you. <laughs> oh, and that's Melanie Aww. Fiona. Melanie mm -hmm. Fiona. Always and looking Eka fabulous. And Amber. Oh, they look so happy. Uh, no, they're like, we're out. We're not working. Right. Yes. <laughs> well, we definitely appreciate all the work they do on this we show. Do. Couldn't they're do it without them. They're a great group of girls. Great group of girls. Definitely. So thank you, ladies. Don't party too hard, though. Right. We got work in the morning. <laughs> all right. Oh, so well, speaking of partying too hard. Lindsay Lohan always does it. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay Lohan got a light grilling on the David Letterman show last mm -hmm. night. The troubled actress opened up about her upcoming trip to rehab. She laughed a lot. And she even shed a few tears, Shannon. Wow. You know, let's take a listen. You have to be in rehab May 2nd. Are you going to be there? <laughs> You'll be there, right? Who's taking you to rehab? You don't want to talk about that either, right? <laughs> oh, God. Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> and you. Jimmy and I will drive her to rehab. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Well, at least him. she has a sense of humor. Yeah, but it looked like she was thinking about it. She's like, hmm, will I be there? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll it also looked like she was like, how dare you I ask know, me that right? question? But then I think she pulled it together and yeah. thought, the best bet is for me to just poke fun at myself a yeah. little bit. And she did that well on Anger Management the other day. She, she was sure, on that show. She so, sure you know, she, she's making her rounds before rehab. And it makes her endearing. So, yeah. that works. Yeah. So. I'm rooting for Lindsay. I think we we bashed her a lot, but maybe mm. this will be the beginning of a comeback for her. Maybe. Yeah. You keep thinking that. You don't, <laughs> don't, I won't hold my You're breath. Like, though. Probably not. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> but, you know, there is somebody who's going to make a great comeback because he never really left. But he's doing a great job after 30 Rock, Alec Baldwin. Mm. He may be heading back to the small screen. Now, even. NBC is reportedly uh, courting him as the funny man to join late night lineup. Really? Mm -hmm. huh. The actor who just wrapped a successful run on 30 Rock is being looked at to fill the network's 1.35 a.m. time slot which Carson Daly currently occupies. That's late. But you know, Baldwin is no stranger to hosting. He's not. He's grilled A-listers like uh, David Letterman, Chris Rock, and all these critically acclaimed people for his podcast and a series called Here's the Thing. He's actually pretty good. Mm, I haven't heard it yet. He's so. no Shannon Lanier. Well, you know. But well. <laughs> he's got <a> skill. <laughs> well, okay, we'll have to turn into his podcast, and if he makes it to late night, we'll have to look at that, too. Well, Check Shannon. Sometimes you've got to give a lot to get a lot. Okay. Did you know that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> rapper Jay-Z is selling off his shares of the New York oh. Nets to up his profile 
as a sports agent. That's right. Jay-Z, who re recently signed Robinson Cano to a sports agency, reportedly is applying to be an agent for the National Basketball Players Association. Now, in order to be an agent, he has to give up his ownership in the Nets. And get this, Jay-Z only owns less than 1% of the Nets. What? Yeah. You would think he owned the whole thing the way I know they shot him out. <laughs> I thought he was the only owner. Yeah, me too. <laughs> they put his name on everything, like Jay-Z owns, Jay-Z this. Right. But it works for publicity purposes. So Absolutely. We're going to talk a little bit more about that coming up a little bit later in the show with Andrew Schwartz. So oh, make sure you tune Andrew's into that. Andrew's going to be here. That's yeah. good. He's you always know, keeping us yeah, posted. Yeah, you know we love it when Andrew's here. Right. Okay, so... Oh. Rapper Rick Ross uh, in trouble go. again. He may actually be saying goodbye to Reebok. Wow. You know, a group of activists and rape survivors are calling on the company to drop Ross for lyrics in his song, You Ain't Even Know. Now, they believe that his song glorifies date rape. He mm -hmm. says it doesn't, but they believe it does. And in a letter sent to Reebok, the group charges the company with, quote, condoning rape by sticking with the rapper. Mm -hmm. Now, Ross has apologized for the lyrics, but... You know, these rape survivors and activists, they're not having it. They want yeah. him gone. Well, I'm glad they're standing up for what they believe in because, you know, he said, again, in an interview we had on the show, mm -hmm. that that's not what I meant, that's not what I was saying, I respect women, but he did not say what he was trying exactly. to say. And so that, to me, just validates what he was saying. And you know, let's stay away from rape and rap lyrics. How yeah. about that? You don't really need it. No. There are a lot of other things you can rhyme about. Yeah, really? get some positive rap messages out there. How about that? Try it. Well, someone's hanging up her dancing shoes, Shannon. Aww. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Lisa Vanderpump. Mm -hmm. It's over for her. <laughs> bye bye. The reality star was eliminated from Dancing with the Stars last mm. night after another poor performance. You know, this week actually proved challenging for Vanderpump. She fainted during practice and wow. she was battling the flu. It's hard to dance when you're sick and you're fainting. Now, it's not she, easy. Did she really faint or did she act like she was? No, like, she oh. actually fainted. She was like, I'm going to suck at dancing. Let me faint. <laughs> I'll get some brownie points. <laughs> I'm just saying, she's playing all her cards. She's like, I can't dance. Let me faint. She some probably sympathy. didn't want to be there anymore. Well, People don't understand just how difficult it is. Yeah. It looks easy, but it's not. And they say a lot of them lose a lot of weight because of all the physical strain that it puts on them to do all those dances week after week. And they're always practicing, too. They dance for hours every day, mm. hours upon hours. I still can't believe DL is there. I know. <laughs> well, how did that happen? I thought for sure he'd be the first person sent home, and he's Good. still there, hoofing away. Good ratings. That's what that's called. Okay. It's like you can pull the people, so let's keep him on a little longer. Oh. That's what it is. People like to laugh. <laughs> people like to laugh, so mm. they tune in. You're on to something, Shannon. There you go. He's a comedian on the stage and on his feet. Oh. oh. You yeah. did not so go I'm there. there. But, <laughs> but hey, you're still there, so you're doing something right. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, you know who's not going to be there. Yeah, Judge Joe Brown. It's hard to believe, but, you know, he's not leaving quietly. He claims CBS has axed his show because of some old, quote, Hollywood trick economics. That's what he calls it. <laughs> Brown told the Hollywood Reporter that he was promised his annual salary of, get this, $20 million, but never got more than $5 million a year. Wait, he made $20 million a year for Judge Joe Brown? Well, I think that's what he was supposed to make. <laughs> oh, but I'm never got the more wrong than five million. profession. I need to go to law school. I need <laughs> right. to get on the bench. I need a black robe. Is that Something. what you're paying these people? Yeah, well, you know, Judge Judge makes more than that. Yeah, I heard she makes forty-five. I knew mm -hmm. that, but I didn't know Judge Joe Brown. Even making Five million a year. Yeah, Goodness. I take it. Yes, <laughs> I take it. I'll take one. <laughs> Okay. Oh, well, gosh. according to reports, CBS wanted to cut Brown's cash mm. because of low ratings. Now, Judge Joe Brown's show, his show will fade to black next month after a 15-season run. Well, that is a good run. Yeah. 15 seasons. That's a, that's a long time, especially for a judge show. And if you've been making $5 million a year for 15 seasons, you're good. Yeah, I'd say you go home pretty happy, so <laughs> <laughs> you'll be happy. And Oprah's also happy. Yay. She says age ain't nothing but a number. And just ask age her because the 59-year-old Oprah Oprah Winfrey, who is encouraging folks to embrace their aging process. She said during a photo shoot for her May issue of Old Magazine, the Queen of Media said it drives her nuts when people are afraid of aging. She says you should be celebrating each year you are given. It's well, go true. Ahead. I mean, you're not promised tomorrow, mm -hmm. so every year is a blessing. And so do you tell people how old you are? Never! <laughs>
<laughs> my wife has two ages. She has her TV age, really? and then she has her real age, which no one knows, not even I, so don't ask me. I mean, us 22-year-olds can't uh -oh, really talk holla. about our age. <laughs> so I'll be the elder on set. I'm 25. I haven't been 22 yes. since 1985. Well, anyway. <laughs> That's funny. You know, one of Oprah's favorite people, Nate Burke, is he's getting married, oh, Shannon. Congratulations, Nate. A rep for the interior designer confirmed with Us Weekly that Burkus and his boyfriend, Jeremiah Brent, well, they're officially engaged. And Burkus popped the question atop a mountain in Peru. The couple have been dating for eight and a half months. So, oh, congratulations to I'm them. actually so happy that he found love because mm. you know he lost his boyfriend during the tsunami. Oh, really? He was swept away in the water several wow. years ago. And Nate Burkus, he'd been heartbroken for years. Mm. So the fact that he's actually found love again. It's a great thing. Sounds like a movie in the making. Can you imagine how fabulous that wedding's gonna be? <laughs> oh yes, decorated to the nines. Oh, Everybody's goodness. gonna be there. Oh, we'll probably be there. Of course. Mm -hmm. oh, that... so, we gotta get tickets. We like, gotta be invited. <laughs> I'm sure I... it'll be a ticket type of thing. Like, we gotta get tickets. Like, who gets tickets to a wedding? We gotta Somebody's... hook that up. Yeah, haul out his name. <laughs> <laughs> well, the sound of Memphis soul could be heard at the White House last night. President Obama and the first family paid tribute to the creators of the music that created the soundtrack for the turbulent 60s. That's right. President Obama reportedly shared with attendees how black and white artists blend soul, gospel, and R&B to bridge those divides to create a little harmony with harmony. Okay. And then he jammed and take a listen. Ooh. Now... Before we go, it's my pleasure to introduce our last number. To be honest, Michelle and I are usually asleep by this time of night. <laughs> but tonight, Booker T and the gang are going to say goodbye to Memphis in the midnight hour. Head of Booker T. One, two, one. Wow, they got everybody there. There's Queen Latifah, Justin Timberlake. Oh, throw your hands up. <laughs> Look at Michelle Obama. Wow, she looks fabulous as always. Oh my goodness, Look that. I love those bangs. I see what he was saying about blending all the different genres of music together to jam it out. They looked like they were having a good yeah. time. Michelle was like, hey. Throw it up, the bangs Go first, lady. Go Michelle, go Michelle. That's pretty Mrs. Hot, Obama, Mrs. I know. Obama. You know, that looked bad. like a good time. Yeah, um, why didn't we get tickets? I'm confused. I'm a little confused myself. Yeah, so Justin Timberlake, time. Queen Latifah, mm -hmm. Cindy Lauper. We could have been yeah. up in that mix. I think so. It looked like they had a great time. What do you guys think? Tweet us at Arise TV 360 to let us know.